Here's another example of how to use uh, uniformly accelerated motion. So here I have a situation where I'm pushed off a 325 meter high cliff. So uh, not good, I guess, for me. Uh, so here's uh, the cliff here. Here's me. Uh, not good. There we go. Uh, not happy. So what happens is uh, this height right here is 325 meters. And the question is, how fast will I be going when I hit the ground? And that how fast, that's an implication of speed. Uh, I like this picture. It's obviously photoshopped. <laughs> that looks awesome. Um, so if you actually have this, you want to figure out how fast you're going to be going right before you hit the ground. Right? You're going to go sort of splat right here or in the water in this case. Um, yeah, how do you find your speed? So all you have to do is use, again, this idea about UVAST, this idea that, you know, put in what you know and uh, be really careful with signs, you know, with positives or negatives, and everything's going to be just fine. Because you're accelerating because you're going to have uh, gravity who's uh, going to be accelerating you. In this case, your initial speed, it's implied that it's zero because you're not told you're running or anything. It's a, I think it's a, it's a vertical situation. In this case, your initial speed will be zero. V, your final speed, we don't know. In fact, it's what we want. So I'm going to put a star by that one. The acceleration. In this case, there's only gravity acting on you. It's the only force acting on you. So because of that, uh, acceleration is going to be the gravity that you know, 9.81. However, this can be really important. If you just put in a positive 9.81, that's going to imply you accelerate upwards. You don't. You accelerate downwards. So it's really important here. If you're going to consider up being positive, then down has to be negative. So in this case, that has to be a negative. Displacement. How far do you actually travel? In vertical situation, it's really easy. You start off at that height of 325, and you end up going down to zero, right? How far then have you displaced from your start to your finish? You've displaced by 325 meters downwards. Time, uh, we don't know. We don't know how long it takes for you to do this. It could have been the question. In this case, we don't know and hopefully don't care. So what I'm going to try to do now is find an equation that has a V in it that doesn't have t. You see, I don't want t in it, because if I have t, I have to find it. So look for an equation that has v with no t. Let's see if we can find one. So go back to here, we'll look for an equation with v in it, no t, that one has a t, that one has a t, that one does, but this one right here doesn't. See, so v squared equals u squared plus 2as. So I put that in, and I make sure I tell the person who's the examiner that I know what I'm doing by actually writing this equation. Uh, remember, it goes v squared, oops, equals u squared plus 2as. So let's put in what we know now. U is zero, so that's gone. Uh, we want V, which is great. So if we actually want to do this, then it's going to be pretty straightforward, I think. We want to get V on its own. That means I have to take the square root of 2AS. Keep in mind, though, technically, when you do a square root, it's a plus or minus, isn't it? Because there's two different answers that you square them could give you that positive value. Uh, so in this case, we've got to do plus or minus square root of 2AS. Let's put in the numbers. So we have square root of 2, oops, plus or minus, square root of 2 times negative 9.81 times s, which is 325. Again, negative. Good news, the negative and the negative cancel out. You get a positive, which is great because you're not allowed to have a negative in the square root. Well, you can. You just get some wacky results. You get things in uh, non-real numbers, which is maybe a bit tough. Uh, so I'm actually figuring this out now in my calculator, and I get a value of v equals plus or minus 79.85 with lots and lots of digits. First of all, how many numbers can I use? I'm allowed to use three digits. So that means I'm going to use three. So I'm going to say my V is equal to 79 point, we could say eight or we could say nine. Maybe we'll just say nine meters per second. But really, really careful. If you want to know this, I mean, this is technically your speed. If you want to know your velocity, it's technically negative because you're actually going downwards. So just keep that in mind. It's a little interesting little uh, caveat here. But um, this is your speed. You're going about 80 meters per second, which is actually really fast if you think about it. What's that? That's like 280 something kilometers per hour, I think. So really pretty fast. So I hope this example helps just to make it make a little bit more sense again uh, for how to use uniformly accelerated motion.